Hi, this is Paul from Sewell Direct. Today we're going to be showing you how we terminate our 23 gauge copper ghost speaker wire. Uh, to start we need a few things. We need a pair of scissors, a razor blade of some sort, our ghost wire, our terminating block, and perhaps a solvent or of some sort uh, in order to help clean off the adhesive. In this case we'll use rubbing alcohol. So first we need to remove the backing that covers the adhesive that sticks to the wall. So that should peel back pretty easy. We want to expose about three quarters of an inch to an inch. And we'll just snip that right off. Now we see our copper conductors. What we want to do first is remove the white edges from around the copper. So we're just going to cut along the sides of the copper conductors. And it doesn't have to be perfect but the closer you can get to the conductors, the better. We're just gonna pull those off. And we're left with two copper conductors. Now there is adhesive on these, this side of the conductor and we don't wanna try and take that adhesive off. It takes a lot of time and it's not worth your effort. Trust me, I've tried. What we want to do is remove, is separate the white backing from the copper. So to do that, we're gonna take our razor blade or a fingernail if you have uh, sharp enough fingernails. We're gonna slide it in between the copper and the backing and start to peel that up. Once it's started, we can, we can take our fingers Grab it and peel it back. Now we see this backing that we've just exposed. We are going to take our scissors and snip that off. But we're not going to throw it away. We're going to take the backing that we just cut off and put it on to the adhesive on the other side to cover that up so it's no longer bugging us. Now we'll go do the same thing with the other side. Take our razor blade and we will slide it in between the copper and the backing to start exposing it. Then we can grab it and peel it back. Now we did leave a little bit of adhesive on there this time, that's fine. We'll take care of that in a second. I'm gonna snip it off. Then use this to cover the exposed adhesive on the back. Now we're gonna take our solvent, in this case rubbing alcohol. I'm just gonna clean off that little bit of adhesive that's left on there. Might have to take a few rubs, but it should come off pretty clean. Now you can see the ends got kind of messed up when we were peeling them back. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna snip off those ends that got a little bent, leaving us with two nice clean edges to the copper. Now we need to install our terminal block. And you'll see on the terminal block there are two little clips. So we're gonna slide our copper conductors under these two little clips. There we go. They should slide, take a little bit of force and they'll slide into place. Then we snap this down. There should be an audible snap or close to it. Now we're, f we're perfectly installed into our terminal blocks. You can put the other end into your speaker. And all that's left now to do is clean off the surface where you're going to be installing the, s the ghost wire. Then you can peel back the ghost wire and install this onto your wall, floor, or ceiling. Thanks for watching.